Hello everyone, Riku Namiko here, and this is the Sirena Expedition. Um, saw this one on Steam, and the sea is terrifying, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Let's get into it. I remember getting the call vividly. I was trying to finish up for the day, but a stack of paperwork was keeping me late. To be honest, I was also looking for reasons not to go home. My phone rang, I answered it. And the director of the institute was talking, albeit disjointedly, about something that had turned up in a recent survey of the Serenity. Control, this is Sierra Echo One. Connected to docking walkway, now leaving the bathosphere. Copy that. I mean, I know the sea is like fascinating and all, but. Man, I would not want this job. Describe something that shows up in sonar imagery, two to three hundred meters long, and too regular in shape to be a natural formation. I thought she was getting ahead of herself when she called it a facility, but more detailed scans seemed to confirm this. Okay, so this is kind of like 2.5D. That's pretty neat. That just means I'll have to look out for places like this that I can hop up to. Maybe we'll go back down the other... Actually... Yeah, let's let's go this way. Oh. Okay, so we had to go this way anyway. Cool. I'm in a central hall. Seems to be where the living quarters were. There's a number of cells along the wall. No other traces of life here. Seems to have been abandoned. It's odd. The construction looks like it's from the 1980s or 90s. Copy. I know that other door we just passed. I need some help. Just open. I've come to a door that I can't open. Perhaps the controls to open it are somewhere else. And preliminary indicates that this may be the case. That's cool. I'm in control. I've arrived at what looks like an observation deck. Are there any clues what it might have been used for? I'm not sure, but it's looking out over the deepest part of the trench, so maybe they found something down there. Okay, keep going. I wonder. Oh, just barely. I'll try a couple more times, and if I can't get it... Nope. I don't think that's possible. Yeah. Not quite. Not quite. It's kind of a shame, too. That would be a cool place to put a secret. Oh. Okay. Let's head back to the hallway. Why would anyone come here alone? That's another question I have. Like, are you crazy? She's gotta be crazy, right? Oh my god. Uh... 
um, what is that, like a giant squid? Sierra Echo 1, this is Control. We're seeing considerable elevation in your heart rate. Is everything okay? Yes, I'm fine. Could you monitor my external readings for anything out of the ordinary? Roger. The thing is, there's no record of any structure of this size having been constructed underwater anywhere. And certainly none at a depth of 10 kilometers below sea level. So who built this thing? When? Why? I have so many questions. You and me both, sister. What? Come in control. Are you picking up anything unusual in my external readings? Negative, Sierra Echo 1. Um, we are registering continued elevation in your heart rate and blood pressure, however, which indicates acute emotional distress. We advise caution. I'm fine. Over and out. Alright, looks like there's a switch over there, so... Yeah, no going through that. I was chosen to pilot a battlesphere down to the structure and investigate it. An atmospheric diving suit was obviously necessary at that depth, but I've been working on a new suit that utilised highly sophisticated equipment for underwater surveys. This seemed like the perfect opportunity to test it out. Oh, lovely. An experimental suit. It's a shame you didn't bring any experimental weapons with you. Okay. That was the one we just closed. I'm in what looks like a storage room. Can't tell what was stored here. I'm still not sure what the purpose of this facility was. Sierra Echo 1, we recommend returning to the Bathosphere. Your vitals are highly erratic and we're concerned for your well-being. I can't yet. Everything's fine. Over and out. Are you sure about that? I mean, he recommends that we leave. And... I'm... I, I don't know. I, I think that might actually be a good idea. So, you know exactly what I'm about to do. We're going to head back to the bathosphere. gonna head right back to the bathosphere and then we're gonna leave and we're gonna pretend we didn't see a giant eyeball or a corpse wearing the exact same suit that we're wearing as experimental as a suit is supposed to be yep there's no problems here none whatsoever Time to go. Come on. Let's go. You're not letting me leave, are you? Okay, I guess I'm trapped. Let's just, uh, skip back to where we were.
Okay. So now we open up the other door. Yes, I'm aware of the dangers of a dive to that depth. Of course I am. I've been diving for most of my life. But this didn't seem like something I could pass on. The mystery consumed me. I had to know what it is. No, you don't. Sierra Echo 1, this is Control. Order you to immediately withdraw from the facility. Your behavior is jeopardizing your safety. I... I have to. I have to find out. Please, aim. I'm slowing down. Hey, yo, what? Wait a minute, where am I? Everything was black. And then I opened my eyes. Control? Come in, Control. Do you copy? Are you there, Control? Attention, attention, control is dead. Hmm. How can I get up there? I woke up at the bottom of an abyss with no link to the outside world and no idea how long I've been down. I'm at the bottom of an abyss. And I'm not sure how I got here. Can you hear me, Control? I don't know if anyone's receiving this, but I'm going to keep transmitting. If nothing else, my diving suit is recording all of my radio communications, so if I make it out of here, we'll have this recording. It'll be a record of what I've been What the hell? I needed to get back to the atmosphere, but without knowing where I was, all I could really do was try to get out of the abyss. I headed up. Wait a minute, why did they put this one here? I wonder if I can... Okay. Oh, just barely. I found a body. Whatever this person found in here, it doesn't look like they survived the encounter. But that was a weapon. Oh well. There's no way I'm going to make that jump. Oh my god!
Oh, it just made it. I found a cave with what looks like mining equipment in it. There are signs of drilling in the walls. Maybe the people in the facility uncovered something. Interesting. I'll leave that brick there. I might not actually need it. Oh, wait, no. I guess I do need it. Just barely. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. Cause this way seemed like it was a little bit more difficult to get to. I've reached another cave. More mining equipment. I can see what looks like fossilized remains, or are they bones? Another passage. Gotta take it. Oh, good, a lever. human made walkways and doors the people from the facility must have been doing work down here was it excavation or something else Lord knows what they were doing down here. So far under the sea. The abyss was oppressive in more ways than one. Even with the advanced diving suits, I could feel the weight of the ocean above pressing down. But there was also this feeling that something had happened down there. Something had been. I was glad to finally. I'm back at the seabed level, and I can see the facility again, at last. I must have been in the abyss that I saw from the walkway earlier, the one that was connecting the two halves of the facility. I should be able to get back in from here. Is someone there? Control. Control, is that you? Come in, Control. Is anyone there?
Why do I get the feeling that a Kraken is involved? I always thought of Krakens as like being like the giant spiders of the sea. Just leads back to the box. Okay. Uh, what? What are you? You are. I don't understand. What? What you want with me? What? I can't take it off. Change me? I don't know what that means. Leave me alone. Okay. Why the hell are you talking to the giant eyeball? What the? What? When I got back to the facility, things weren't quite as I remembered. I know the site was in a state of disrepair before, but now it felt like the place was barely holding us together. How long had I been down? I'm back at the exterior walkways. But what's happened? Everything's collapsed. How long was I down there? And where do I go from here? Can't. It would kill me. I still don't. Wait. Why is that frequency? That resonance? If I could hear it better. Are you nuts? That's it. I heard it. And I think I understand. now that everything has its own frequency. I can hear it. I can hear my own frequency too. But more than that, I can change it. And if I resonate with something else's frequency, it creates a bridge in the space-time continuum. Oh, it doesn't make sense. Not with our current understanding of physics. But I just did it. What the hell just happened? Okay, now I'm even more confused than ever. I can take off the helmet and teleport. Okay. You can only teleport from flat ground. All right. Well. All right. It's not letting me teleport there. Central Hall again, but everything's collapsed. Like the walkway outside. 
I need to figure out how to get back to the docking walkway and the bathosphere. As I made my way back to the bathosphere, I thought more and more about how much time had passed since I'd entered the facility, and given the rate of accelerated decay. I could tell it wasn't a matter of hours or days, it was years or even decades. But how was that possible? How indeed. What was that? I need to push this all the way to the other end. Or not. Oh no wait, that actually was right. Okay. It doesn't make sense. This can't be the same place. I was just here. How has everything fallen apart so rapidly? It's like I've jumped forward in time. Or maybe you're just delirious and you already died. No, no, no! The bathosphere! It's... How am I supposed to get out of here now? I have to get back to the surface. I'm not going down there again. I don't think I have a choice. But how do I get to the observation deck? Alright, observation deck, here we come. Oh, that's useful. First, I thought the inmates were all in my head, or apparitions. Maybe they were when I first arrived, but after I woke up in the abyss, I was convinced they were real. They spoke to me, and they heard me speak back. I still didn't trust them, and I wasn't sure what they wanted from me, but with the bathosphere ruined, it felt like obeying the eyes was my only way out of this. I just want to say that obeying a pair of eyes that just randomly appears out of nowhere is probably not the best idea. Probably not. That's just me. Looks like there's a another switch in this room right here. Not sure how you get to it though. The eyes want me to go down again, but it doesn't seem like they're leading me back to the abyss. Where are they taking me? What else is down there?
They said I need to go up before I can go down. Is this what they meant? If this is what they meant, then how the heck do we go up? I couldn't jump up there before. And the switch is broken. One hour later. I don't know. Let's see if this works. platform now. Alright, there's a ladder. I'm not looking forward to explaining to the director how I managed to ruin a million dollar bathosphere. I'm sure if you make it out of this alive, you won't care. I didn't see this during the approach. Am I going to have to climb it? What the hell is all this? Thinking back on it, there are a lot of things about my time in the facility that didn't make sense. That might just be my old way of thinking. I've changed this thing, and it feels like things are changing around me. Okay. That's just a complete circle. be my only way off the roof. Maybe there's a switch to open it further up. <laughs> I don't know why this structure's here. It doesn't seem to have any function, but this isn't just random debris. It feels almost like it's purposely designed to test me. I sometimes forget that I'm so far below the surface. At first, 
every action I took in this diving suit felt laboured. But now I hardly notice it. I wonder if the people in the facility felt this way. I think you're just delirious and you're probably dying. Okay. There's a switch. Oh, useful. One of those, huh? All right. It took me a while to get used to it, swapping places with things. At first it felt like I was being crushed and spat out at the other end, but as I've got better at controlling my frequency, I've been able to avoid that. I also think I might be able to change the frequency of things I swap places with. I wonder if that's possible. One thing at a time. I just need to figure out where exactly I need to move this thing to. I think it's supposed to be back this way. Before I go any I further, I about what's happened to me. About why I can do what I can now. The eyes did it to me. Or whatever being they belong to. They changed my resonance, but they had to bring me forward in time to do it. Maybe the rules are different here. Oh, wow, really? Okay. So I'm just guessing that this might be the right way to go. With these at least. I'm just not entirely sure. Yeah, this is... this has to be it. Ah, 
that one's a little too far away. Also, that's just, that's just flat out weird. Like, really? Why even bother taking the thing off if you can just... Or, why bother putting it back on if you can just breathe underwater? It doesn't make any sense. And then putting the thing back on... I mean, wouldn't you just get water inside of the helmet too? And inside of the suit? Shoot. Okay, idea. Pull this one back. Go up here. Oh, got it. That didn't help. <laughs> Shoot, I still need one more. Okay. Alright, and that last one is all the way over there. So I think I'm going the right way. Looks like it. Yeah, right here. The more times I took off my helmet, the more natural. Sure, the pressure was still uncomfortable, and breathing water felt a little weird, but hearing the resonance of everything around me almost made my discomfort slip away. And I started to forget. Alright, well I'll give this girl a credit. At least she addressed it. Alright, now hopefully this is the last box that we actually need to get up there on that platform. Nope, they're not gonna let me do that. <laughs> I can't push it any further either. Okay. Can do that. Let 
they're not letting me do any of those actions. Alright, let's see if I can just go up and, like, teleport the box up here. goes down. <laughs> I meant to go up. Close enough. Might be able to do it from here, though. Yes! Oh, wrong way. Finally. All that for one switch. At least it's easy to get back to. What the hell is all this? These creatures. This is a laboratory. Does this mean the facility was conducting experiments on oh, these poor creatures? They killed them. Why? What right did they have? What happened to the people here? This was revenge. Payback for what they did.
Okay, we're facility in a in an undisclosed location under the sea. Check. Uh, I hear the eyes all the time now, with their constant whispers. I've asked them where they came from, but they won't give me a straight answer. They say I'll find out in time. If this game was made by Capcom, it'd just be Umbrella. There's no going up there. Okay. Where am I now? I'm ready to see what's down here. I wasn't ready before, but the eyes were right. I'm different now. I think deep down, I already knew what I was going to find down there. All my life, I'd felt the pull of the ocean, driving me into my career, leading me to this expedition. I was always going to end up there. Ouch. There's no water down here. How is that possible? The suit is really heavy, but I think I can keep moving. What the it's hell? A shrine. Everyone from the facility seems to have ended up here. It's almost like they died in a state of worship. I can see myself. Of course, it's me. It's always been me. And I know how to get back now. Sierra Echo 1, this is Control. We order you to immediately withdraw from the facility. Your behavior is jeopardizing your safety. Okay, Control. I'm turning around now. That's good to hear. I'm continuing to monitor your vitals, but I can see they're beginning to stabilize. Understood. We'll obviously have a full debrief once you've returned to the surface, but I'm curious. What did you see down there? Nothing more than a facility used for some kind of observation. Hard to be more specific than that. Wasn't there anything you saw that could account for your earlier anxiety? Anxiety? No, no, I was just excited. I've spent my career scouring the ocean depths for something like this. So to finally be here was a lot to take in. I see. Will there be another expedition to this facility? Until we've had a full debriefing, it's hard to say for sure, but I'm going to be honest, it seems unlikely. I've heard the Institute's funding body wasn't happy with the level of risk or the expense of sending someone down there. Primarily the latter. Okay. I thought you'd be more upset to hear that. A little. But like you said, coming down here is a huge risk. I think I'll just be happy to get to dry land. I guess so. What do you think you'll do once you get back to the Institute? Probably get out of this wetsuit and shower. No, oh, I mean once we've wrapped up this mission. Oh, uh, maybe do a bit of travelling. I'd like to see the world. Uh, probably look into other fields my research can be applied to. That's a bit of a departure for you. It is, yes. Control, I'm back at the bathosphere. All readings show that it's functioning correctly and ready to go. Okay. Whoa, got 
got some strange readings just now, Sierra Echo One. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. Must be a blip. Some kind of interference? Yeah, maybe. I guess so. I'm in the bathosphere now. Expelling water and repressurizing. Okay, repressurization is complete. You're clear to launch. Disengaging from docking walkway. I'm coming back to you. See you soon. That was weird. He ran tests on me once I returned to the Institute, obviously. The mask and the changes that had occurred to me was easy. I've learned to not draw attention to myself. I'll return to the facility, but not with the Institute. For now, we can't work to do. Well, how about that? That was a little weird, a little creepy, and, um, I don't know. I'm not necessarily disappointed. I just expected it to be a little bit longer. But, uh, there might be, like, one other thing going on with this game. Alright, well, that was the... Is it Serena or Sirena? I, I can't pronounce stuff lately. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.